Southwest Airlines, a name synonymous with low-cost air travel, has long been a beloved American institution. Founded in 1967, the airline quickly gained popularity for its no-frills approach, offering affordable fares and a unique customer-centric culture. Southwest's success story, however, hit some turbulence when it faced a public battle with activist investor Elliott Investment Management. This clash of titans brought to light underlying tensions and raised questions about the airline's future direction. Elliott's entry into the Southwest saga signaled a potential power shift. With a reputation for shaking up corporations, Elliott's activist approach often involves pushing for changes in leadership, strategy, or financial management. Their involvement in Southwest suggested that the airline was seen as ripe for a shakeup, with Elliott believing its own vision could unlock greater value for shareholders. This set the stage for a classic clash between an established player and a disruptor, with the future of Southwest hanging in the balance. The airline industry watched closely as the drama unfolded, recognizing the broader implications of this power struggle. Southwest, known for its unique culture and operational model, found itself at a crossroads. The outcome of this battle had the potential to reshape not only Southwest, but also the airline industry at large. The conflict between Southwest and Elliott escalated into a high-stakes proxy fight, a battle for shareholder votes. Proxy fights are a common tactic employed by activist investors to gain influence over a company's board of directors. By securing enough shareholder support, activist investors can elect their own nominees to the board, effectively gaining a say in the company's decision-making process. In this case, Elliott sought to replace several members of Southwest's board with its own slate of candidates. Elliott argued that its nominees possessed the necessary experience and expertise to guide Southwest through a period of industry change and unlock shareholder value. The proxy fight represented a pivotal moment for both Southwest and Elliott, with each side vying for control of the airline's future. In response to Elliott's activism, Southwest undertook a series of policy changes aimed at addressing some of the investors' concerns. These changes included a renewed focus on operational efficiency, cost control measures, and a more shareholder-friendly approach to capital allocation. By demonstrating a willingness to adapt and evolve, Southwest aimed to appease Elliott and other investors who shared similar concerns about the airline's direction. These policy tweaks signaled a potential shift in Southwest's corporate governance. The airline, long known for its independent streak, appeared to be acknowledging the need for greater accountability and responsiveness to shareholder interests. This willingness to adapt and embrace change was seen as a positive step by some industry observers, who viewed it as a sign that Southwest was committed to remaining competitive in a rapidly evolving industry. Section 5. Finding Common Ground – Elliott's Settlement Proposal after months of public sparring, Elliott offered a settlement proposal that could potentially end the contentious proxy fight. The details of the settlement remained confidential, but it was widely reported that Elliott was seeking board representation in exchange for dropping its campaign to replace existing directors. This suggested that Elliott was willing to compromise and work collaboratively with Southwest, rather than pursuing a hostile takeover. The settlement proposal marked a turning point in the relationship between Southwest and Elliott. It signaled a willingness on both sides to find common ground and work together for the benefit of the company and its shareholders. This shift from confrontation to collaboration was welcomed by investors and industry analysts alike, who saw it as a positive development for Southwest's future. Section 6. A Seat at the Table – Elliott's Board Representation Elliott's settlement proposal included a framework for securing representation on Southwest's board of directors. While the exact number of board seats sought by Elliott remained undisclosed, it was clear that the hedge fund aimed to have a voice in the airline's strategic direction. This board representation would give Elliott a platform to advocate for its vision and ensure that Southwest's management team was held accountable for delivering shareholder value. The proposed board representation was carefully structured to avoid disrupting Southwest's existing corporate governance. Elliott sought a collaborative approach, aiming to work alongside existing board members to guide the airline towards a more profitable and sustainable future. This balanced approach aimed to address Elliott's concerns while preserving the unique culture and values that had made Southwest a success story. 
Section 7. A Truce Emerges, A Potential End to Hostilities. The settlement proposal, if accepted by Southwest, would signal a truce in the public battle between the airline and the activist investor. This truce would allow both parties to shift their focus from conflict to collaboration, working together to address the challenges and opportunities facing the airline industry. For Southwest, this would mean a period of relative stability, allowing the airline to execute its strategy without the distraction of a proxy fight. The potential truce was seen as a positive development for both Southwest and Elliott. It would allow Southwest to focus on its core business, while giving Elliott a seat at the table to influence the airline's direction. This outcome would likely be welcomed by investors and industry observers alike, who had grown weary of the protracted public battle. Section 8. The Road Ahead – Implications for Southwest The truce between Southwest and Elliott has significant implications for the airline's future. With Elliott's influence on the board, Southwest may adopt a more shareholder-centric approach, potentially leading to changes in capital allocation, dividend policies, and operational strategies. Elliott's focus on efficiency and cost control could result in a leaner, more profitable Southwest, but it remains to be seen how these changes will impact the airline's unique culture and customer experience. The truce presents both opportunities and challenges for Southwest. On the one hand, Elliott's expertise in corporate turnarounds could help the airline navigate the turbulent airline industry and emerge stronger in the long run. On the other hand, there are concerns that Elliott's aggressive cost-cutting measures could erode Southwest's employee-centric culture and negatively impact customer service. Section 9. A Ripple Effect – Broader Impacts on the Airline Industry the Southwest Elliott saga has broader implications for the airline industry. It highlights the growing influence of activist investors in shaping corporate governance and strategy within the sector. Airlines, facing increasing competition and external pressures, may need to adapt to this new reality and become more responsive to shareholder demands. The outcome of the Southwest Elliott truce could serve as a precedent for future activist campaigns within the industry. The truce could usher in an era of greater shareholder activism within the airline industry. Airlines, traditionally accustomed to operating with less scrutiny from investors, may face increasing pressure to enhance profitability, improve transparency, and adopt more shareholder-friendly policies. This shift could lead to a more dynamic and competitive landscape, as airlines strive to meet the evolving expectations of their investors. Section 10. Lessons Learned, Corporate Governance in the Spotlight The Southwest Elliott case serves as a valuable case study in corporate governance. It underscores the importance of strong board leadership, effective communication with shareholders, and a proactive approach to addressing investor concerns. Companies that fail to engage constructively with their shareholders may find themselves vulnerable to activist campaigns, which can be costly, distracting, and potentially damaging to their reputation. The lessons learned from the Southwest Elliott truce extend beyond the airline industry. It highlights the need for companies across all sectors to prioritize good corporate governance, foster open dialogue with investors, and be responsive to shareholder concerns. By embracing these principles, companies can mitigate the risk of activist campaigns and create a more stable and predictable operating environment. Section 11, the future of Southwest, navigating the skies ahead. As Southwest moves forward from its public battle with Elliott, the airline faces a future filled with both opportunities and challenges. The truce with Elliott provides a window of opportunity for Southwest to refocus on its core strengths, innovate its business model, and enhance its competitive positioning. By leveraging Elliott's expertise and working collaboratively with its board, Southwest can navigate the evolving airline industry landscape and continue its legacy as a beloved American icon. The future of Southwest remains bright, but the airline must remain vigilant in addressing the challenges that lie ahead. By embracing innovation, prioritizing customer satisfaction, and maintaining its commitment to its employees, Southwest can continue to soar to new heights and solidify its position as a leader in the global airline industry.